Las apuestas online han alcanzado proporciones epidémicas en todo el mundo. Ivan Bloch sigue operando en una importante web de póker online desde Costa Rica. Internet gambling. It's sort of like the crack version. You know what I mean? It's, it's right into your house, right into your room. Internet gambling is a $35 billion a year industry. It's all around the world, from Dubai to Costa Rica to all of these bizarre outposts where they can avoid U.S. regulations and laws. That's very similar to our movie Runner Runner. ¿A dónde vas? A Costa Rica. It's a fast-paced world. It's fast thinking. It's cutthroat. It draws in all these girls and gamblers and hustlers. So this strange, kind of perverse oasis has bloomed here. Te garantizo un millón los primeros 18 meses. Me gustará ver cómo lo gastas. ¿Qué me dices? ¿Tú qué crees? One particular online gambling site did about 12 billion dollars in business. That's beyond what Vegas numbers are. So it's pretty incredible. In the early days of online gambling, there was kind of a detente between law enforcement and the people who ran those offshore gambling houses. That changed when the United States decided that they were breaking laws and they were going to start enforcing those laws. There's a lot of shady operators in that world. It seems to breed people who are drawn to this element of risk. Richie is capable of being drawn in by this stuff, and Block uses Richie's pride and ambition to manipulate him, to get him to be part of his business so that he won't object to some of the things that he sees. The deeper you get into the story, the darker and darker it gets. The federal government waged a war of intimidation. They would try to keep scaring people into leaving the business, and actually were quite successful. A lot of people got scared. On April 15th, they call it Black Friday, they announced indictments against the five biggest sites. Cualquiera que tenga acceso a Internet puede apostar y perder los ahorros de toda una vida sin poner un pie fuera de casa. European casino operators have existed now in absence of the U.S. market, and they've done very, very well. There's a big world beyond the U.S. Today, you can play poker anywhere in the world except for the U.S. You cannot uninvent technology by putting in place a law that pretends an industry doesn't exist. The industry is online, and people who want to find it will find it. There's the allure of that world with the women and the darkness and the sex appeal and the money and the power. It's a hard thing to say no to. People equate wealth with status, honor, success. Whatever it is, just get it now, get it now. The audience will feel that tension and pressure that keeps them on the edge of their seat and captivates them. If you want something more secure, work in correos. If you want to have the conscience tranquil, build an ONG. But if you want to have your own island and your boss tells you, come out and receive a paliza, come out, you receive it, you come back to work and you tell me, you need to do it again. There's a moment for this type of movie, and it's now. That voice that you're hearing in your head is not your conscience. It's fear.